How you doing everyone? It's Kevin. I'm back on another video. Today we get to start building the mini barn dominium. Um, we're going to start off by digging all the holes in the trench around the uh, building where we wanted that two inch foam board that is for our frost line. I'm going to show you some of the materials that we're going to be using and um, I'll just get started off showing you where we're going to build the house and the materials that we're going to be using. Now when Julie and I started this uh, wanting to build a mini barn dominium, uh, we went to our uh, inspectors and uh, which are the people who are going to inspect this house so we can get a permit to move into it. And one of the things they wanted was either a footer or some kind of a frost barrier going around the outside of it. And we came up with uh, the two inch foam board. They said it would be okay to use two inch foam board all the way around it, 36 inches deep in the ground. And that's what we have right here. We got 13 sheets here that's gonna go all the way around the building, around the house, and they're 36 inches uh, deep. So Rick's gonna come down and he's gonna be doing the drilling, or he's gonna be doing the, uh, the skid steer. He's gonna use a ditch witch, and the ditch witch is gonna dig the trench that the foam board is going to go into. Now the foam board is three inches. Our ditch witch will dig a six inch trough. So we'll have a tr trench going down through there, six inches wide, but we got to figure out, they're going to come in and square up the building to make sure everything's nice and square. And then uh, I think they're going to punch the hole. They're going to drill two inch or two foot holes, 24 inch holes. And then we're going to drill, we're going to use the ditch witch between them. But I'll have all that on video so you guys can see how that goes. Because that's a big thing in my area. If you want to build this thing and you want it to pass inspection, this is what you're going to have to do. Now these are the posts that they're going to put in the ground. And as you can see, these posts are all wrapped. There's a wrap on these posts. Uh, to keep them, they're not going to touch any dirt. They're going to be up out of the ground so far. Only three foot of that goes in the ground. So, they're not gonna, you're not going to have to worry about these rotting. They're not going to rot. So, there is our post, and the post are not, they're six by sixes, but they're not a solid, like a six by six. When you get these, there are three boards glued together, and uh, they say it makes them a lot stronger and keeps them from warping and twisting. So, there are the post. And... Uh, here are our trusses, all of our trusses. Now, for our trusses, as you can see, we have one big space in here missing, like right here. So that's going to be the cathedral part of the, uh, the kitchen and the living room is going to be cathedral, okay? So that's going to stand up. That's going to be a little bit higher in there. The walls will be eight feet tall. And then with that little bit of cathedral in there, it's going to make it look a whole lot bigger. So we got that. All the metal for the outside of the structure is here. They will be using, a, a, what is that, Tyvek? They're going to wrap the outside of the building. The whole house will be wrapped. And then the ceiling will have a bubble wrap. So it would be more of an insulation-like wrap to it. The structure itself will have a black roof and it will have a clay walls. It'll be basically the same as our garage that we built, hopefully. Julie was curious about the clay to see if it would match up with ours, and I think it will. This is all the boards that they'll be using to frame it up. That's all the wood they'll be using to frame it up. Now they have the doors on here. We have our doors. Our doors are in here. We got two solid steel doors. Eventually, if we decide we want to change them out, we can. I wanted the steel doors on there uh, for now because I'm in a really royal area. So we want to be able to lock the structure up. Now, they said that the windows are not finished. We won't have the windows until October 21st. So what they're going to do is they're going to frame the whole entire structure up and they're gonna frame in the windows, but they're just gonna run the metal down over the windows so we don't have to worry about, 
you know anybody getting in and out of it so it'll be a month before we get our windows and they're going to come back in and they'll put the windows in uh, for us now as far as the concrete goes in the floor a lot of people are wondering you're going to put your pad down first no we're they're going to build the structure okay i'm going to come in and i'm going to put up uh once i come in i will put all the plumbing in the floor uh, where the bathroom, like where your commode's going to go, your sinks are going to go, I'm going to do all those. Once I get all the plumbing in the floor, I'll have to run the, the water lines in, I'll have to run the electric line in, I'll have to run the, all the uh, plumbing for the commode, showers, sinks, whatever, and then they're going to come back in and pour the concrete, and then that is, their job is done. So it's going to be up to Julie and I to frame all the outside walls, in two by sixes and to frame all the inside walls in two by fours and then we'll be responsible for the electric the plumbing the insulation the drywall until this house is finished it's going to be totally up to julie and i so that's where you guys come in and play that you know i think i could really use some help i'm not really good on the codes for the electricity or the plumbing but man, if there was somebody out there that could give me a hand, I'd really, really appreciate it, man. Any information I can get on uh, putting in that electric and the plumbing would be really appreciated. So, uh, big day today. We get start. We get to get started on this structure. Hopefully, within a few days. They said just a few days. We'll have the whole thing done. So we'll see. So that's what we got. I'm just waiting on them guys to get here. And uh, Rick, I can hear the machine over there running. We greased it up. We got everything greased up real good, and it's good to go. So he's on his way down, and I think everything's going to go hopefully smooth. So I'll see you guys just in a bit. The guys from JM Carpentry are here now. They're squaring up my pad. And we're going to get ready to start drilling some holes here in just a little bit once I get everything straightened up. All squared up.
just to let everybody know, these holes are on eight foot centers. All the holes are on eight foot centers. Okay, now we're, they're pretty much done with all of the holes um, for the uh, post. And I want to get a depth on this to show you guys where we're at. And right there, we're at four foot. It's actually a little bit deeper than four foot deep, yeah, actually, that hole. Do. There you go, you're on a perfect spot. I can see it good. Okay, so we're at four foot deep on these holes. And these are the ones that are going to have concrete poured in them. There's going to be 12 inches of concrete in the middle. Now we're going to start working on the, the foam board. This is where the, the issue came with this type of building. Needing a foundation. So we're going to be putting foam board in instead of a foundation. So it's just going to be frost a frost barrier for the bottom of the house to keep it uh, from freezing. So all of our holes are at four feet deep. I didn't drill these two as deep because I'm... Okay, he said the first two in the front were a little bit shallower. So all these holes right here are, we're at basically five feet deep. So you can see he's got tape in the bottom. Right there it is. So we're at five foot. The front two are at four foot. Just these two in the front. All right, what we're doing now is they stuck some stakes in the ground. We've got one here and one out there with a nice straight line going out there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go off the track of the machine to try to keep this as straight as we possibly can to go down through there. He's gonna go along there and paint it. And we're gonna have a chalk line here to uh, help it go as straight as we possibly can. They're actually going to try to hook this foam board in with the foam board that's going down the floor. There's going to be foam board on the floor too. So they're going to try to attach it. So I'll get you guys back in here once we start digging.
line your beam up with that orange line on the ground. Line that up with that orange line on the ground. And then he'll move that string over to get you lined up. We can be able to dig one hole at a, you know, between one at a time. It's yeah. to the next hole so he knows where that line is. Now this ditch which is digging a six inch trench through there, we're only going to be putting a two inch foam board through it.
So now we have one trench done. That's a 40 foot section. He's gonna do the 25 foot right there. So uh, we'll go across the back and then we'll go up this other side. Now, the way I understand, and I we had a meeting about this, we're gonna have a 10 foot front porch on the front of here. So on that 10 foot front porch, they're allowing us to lay the two foot or the two inch foam board three feet out from the structure underneath of that porch. So we don't have to dig these ditches all the way around. We only gotta do three sides. That's all we gotta do is three sides. And we're already almost halfway through. So what they've done, they've re-squared the whole entire building back up to go with the trenches. Now there's your, we're about 26 inches in the ground, 24 to 26, probably a little more than that actually, because we can always lift the foam board up, but we can't push it down. And each one of the holes, like I said, back here are five feet deep which the concrete trucks come in here in a little bit to pour the concrete and they continue going on out all the way around the three sides on now is he's going to clear some of that out so the concrete truck can go down through the center of that.
shot here. We uh, kind of got rained out, but we did get the foam board in, and we got a lot of it covered. Uh, the thing is, is you know, this is all going to settle out here. Julie and I were working, trying to get things put away. Uh, a lot of the materials, loose materials, we had to put in the garage because there's nobody here to keep an eye on it, really. So. As you can see, well, this foam board is all in now. We just got cleaned up. Like I said, we know that this is going to settle. We may have to bring some more dirt in. But there's our foam board, 36 inches deep, all the way around the whole entire structure. Now, there's going to be places where I'm going to have to you know, move some dirt, but that's okay. We're going to let it settle. And now, when they do the the board, the foam board on the floor, it's going to come right with this board. It's going to connect to that foam board. It's going to connect to that and then go straight across our floor because that's about five inches higher. Uh, the foam board's about five inches. You know, there's going to be a base of gravel underneath of this. So, as you can see, the foam board is all in. It looks pretty good. I mean, this is the first time our builder has actually built a structure like this. He does pole buildings, but not a lot of pole houses, you know, pole building house, like barn dominiums. So he wanted to do this, and the inspector come out and uh, looked at everything and signed off on this part. So we're good so far, and it's raining, and it's getting muddy, but we got that much done. Now, the two posts out here, you see, filled them completely full of concrete. Those are the porch posts. 
We got a porch post there and one over there. Now there's still a row of posts that's going to go in between here, but they're not in yet. I think what we're going to do, uh, Rick and I were talking about going in there and digging out for all the pipes, the plumbing and everything, and getting it down before they come back and put that front wall on. So, that looks pretty good so far. That was a good day's work. These guys work quick. J&M Construction. I will leave a link for these guys, or I'll leave their name and number. So if anybody's interested in building this type of building in, like, Pennsylvania and Ohio, I know they work in PA and Ohio, so. Pretty cool. All right, we're calling it a day. We're getting out of this rain, and we're going to go get something to eat, get a bath, and get something to eat.